Hello, Odd Job Dewey here, and today we're um, working on this here uh, dishwasher, right? So part of the kitchen remodel here, we've got this dishwasher here which is going to go away, and inside there'll be another dishwasher. It's uh, behind me in a box right now. So, one of the first steps you do when you want to take away your old one, or install it, is you got to get rid of the power and the water to it. And, most people house it under the sink here. Hmm. Now back in here, you can see, this right here is trickly the hot water pipe, I'm assuming. Right, right there. Alright, there's a th valve thing, whatever. And it's in there, and this is crummy, but it's under the sink. And well, sometimes they have a T-valve, and this one here doesn't. It just has one valve there, and then below it there's another valve. There we go. Another valve, nothing coming off of it. And so these two pipes are solely for feeding the sink. And there's also only one electric thing down there. And there is a drain that sometimes they hook up to your garbage disposal. Right here, around the back of this thing here. It's hard to see, but there's like a little nub up in here. Everything's on the back of everything for some reason. But this one here you can see. There is the drain hose there. That black one that goes to the white pipe. So, we know where the drain's at, this part of it. So that comes through the cupboards, and I think we're gonna open this one here too. This is cleared out. Okay, so back in here, I found a sign. Okay, so down there, that corrugated looking white pipe, that's also a drain pipe. So, and that's usually the one that comes with the machine. So that there, and then I see behind that, you can see there's copper tubing. And I can't tell it's hard or not. I don't think it is, but we'll see more when we look into it. And there is some wiring. Same thing. I don't know if that wire actually goes to just the machine, or if it goes to a junction box with a cord. All I know is I have to get to this stuff somehow. But for now, to start with, we're going to um, get on the floor, right down here, and we're going to start by taking out some of these uh, screws there. Oh, does that help? So I've got some screws here, let's say there's probably one or two, maybe one. So we're going to take that out, and Get the one from the other side also, or two. Now different dishwashers have different uh, setups to them. And this one here is one of those tall tubs that they came out with, well, a while ago now. But um, that's what tall tubs are all about, is less room here at the bottom, more room inside. Okay, with well, this part here, it's probably a crummy view. How about that? That better? Can't tell now. Okay, got that done. And now, onto the other side here. Um, then we'll drop this paneling down and see what's behind there. And hopefully, nothing comes running out. Right, that might be a little scary. If you have a dishwasher that's been installed for a long time, sometimes you just don't know what's back there. I've seen dead lizards, like mice. I've seen not dead spiders. Yeah, right. We got that there. Ow. For the most part done, I think. And we'll open it up to anything else inside that we can see. Hmm. Nope, I don't see anything in there. Ah, oh, there we go. So, this here's going to come out and down. Come out and down. <laughs> Shove it aside. And... 
we got this bottom part here. Ugh. With some uh, grimy on it, looks like. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Some of it's best just to hold your breath. Ugh. Now then, on this setup here, let's see what we got over on this side. I can see right away. I can identify um, uh, some this white hose you see there. That's definitely a water line. And I can see back in there a valve of all things. Right there's the valve top, right? So hopefully it works and it shuts the water off. I'll try the rookie mistake and see if I can do that. And if it don't work, then I'll have to run away and find the main to the house. Next thing I see here is a cord wired up weird. So that right there, I mean, it's probably safe, but um, it looks like it's a cord that goes to the junction box right here, and then there's also a hard wired cord there. So I don't know if I want to wire in a, in a, I don't know if that wire could stretch and fit in the box where it should be, or if I need to install a outlet plug. Last but not least I see down here is right there the corrugated drain pipe which seems that there yeah maybe there's not enough there's just some there. Okay so I know with electricity I'll have to go find a breaker and turn it off it looks like and then I'll try the valve that's um Right there. I'll try to see if I can get my ham hock in there and turn that valve. After that, I'll get it all secured, and we should be able to work on actually removing it some. Hmm. All right, so that uh, valve down there, I decided not to move because I tried to turn it and it was kind of stuck. I was like, no. Nah. So I shut the water off to the house. Uh, there seems to be enough hose here, and I think electricity, I shut the electricity off, but there seems to be enough electric wire there. Wire there. So the next thing we'll do here is actually start to um, take this thing out. This is actually the real removal. Open the door, and at the minimum, you'll usually have two screws or bolts right up here and right here. That holds in the most. Secondary, in this one here, you have a bunch of screws here that hold this uh, black piece on, this grommet, and that and it kind of holds it in a little bit, plus what it does is it, is it makes it so it's more like a sealed built-in look to it, this model. This model's kind of a nicer one, you know, it's okay, but, you know, they want new things. So, this is going to go, and what I'm going to do now is take a, it like a Phillips, and I'll just remove these, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 7, 8, um, screws. So I get them around. And then we'll probably be able to pull it out. But before I start pulling too much, at the bottom here, once again, you can see there's a foot there. And this is a key point. So the foot there might have to screw back up into the body a little bit, just so I can get it to pull out more. And then, you know, the opposite will happen with the new one. It'll go back in and then I'll screw it down so it levels out the front. All right, so let me get these screws out and go back to the pulling part. Alright, to help get it out, I take out these side parts here. This one actually was the other side, but it was on this little white part down here. And um, this is part of the built-in look to it. And should be able to pull it out now. Let's see here. Pull nice and gently. Yeah, it's going to be hanging out something a little bit. So it could be the, the rear leg. Some of them have legs in the back, some of them have wheels, so once again, I'm going to get down and check it out. So check it out and probably yank it out here. Okay, so we got it out and you can see now what we're snagged on is the drain line, which snakes around here and goes around the back corner there to a dark hole. So I'm going to have to get this other cupboard here to find out what's going on. Otherwise, it don't look like anything's leaking, so we're good on that part. Dirty, but I got a shop back waiting back for that. So, I'm going to sneak that covered under the drain line, which may cause a little flood. Who knows? I can do it from the front, too, underneath here. 
I might just do that. I don't know. I'll do something to get that drain line out. And um, okay, so there's the bottom of the drain line um, to the pump. And uh, it is just held on by a uh, clamp. You know, nothing major. And so I'll take some uh, pliers here and see if I can't maybe get it to release itself. Which I'm sure I can. Just not sure how much of a mess it might make in the process. See if I can get a good grip on that clamp and squeeze it. And jimmy the thing out. Backwards some. Come on, you. Whoop. That helped a little bit more. Let's see. I have a better tool around here I can use. Of course not. You know, like everything has to be in the way, it seems. Okay, right, I'll try this way. There. Oops. Maybe I'll try clamping it down with this thing and then just pulling it off. There we go. That's off. Now this should come off pretty easy. And yeah, it's full of water. But don't worry, it's just dirty, nasty dishwasher water. And then you get like a little bucket or something. Ah, oh, which is over there. Ah, there we go. Now then. Not so bad, eh? Ah. Of course, I have the water off to the house, so I can't wash my hands. Great. Okay, we got that off now, and I believe the rush should just come right out. Right, so, now I'll go find some uh, mop or some towels and clean up an all one. Oof, no one says right, it's going to be a clean towel. Before I off, I'll get the electrician done, which, remember, electricity's. Electricity's shut off at the circuit breaker, supposedly. So I will just uh, reach down here, knowing this is wet now, and knowing that water and wetness don't mix. I'll unscrew this cap. Unscrew this cap, which I noticed they got some markings on this thing. And I'll unscrew the last cap and see what happens here. Now this thing pull away. Now I've just got some wet wires to deal with. And for that, I will find a tester. And yes, this is a little bit late in the game to be testing it now, but like I said, the circuit breaker should be off. Negative, positive, got it. Coming in. Mm, nope, and nope, good. That's all dead. Next, we'll switch our view over to the pipe. I didn't want to try to shut the water valve off at this pipe. But it's back there. This too might make a mess. But this is a nice, um, probably three-eighths hose we got going here. Which can be reused again if need be. Alright, machine got my way. And so this one here, well, let's just chalk up like this. Yeah, get you guys in there. Right, so, three toes, and I will just uh, attempt to just undo it with a wrench. Okay. Ah. 
switch the fingers on this thing. And I gotta be careful because the water's gonna come out from both ends probably. I think it already is. Come on, get off there. Okay, now that there was more water than I expected to the pipe, but this is probably the lowest part of the house for it. So, low leak. There, I'll take care of that. Okay, so this one is uninstalled now. Separated from the drain, the electric, and the water, so it is able to go outside to where it's going to go next. Pretty simple, right? And so, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs> I'm Job Dewey here. And uh, I think that slowly stopped draining. And uh, yeah, good. Good times. No one said this would be a clean job, but I have a vacuum to suck all this stuff up. So if you have any questions or comments, uh, go ahead and leave them down below. And the next video will be the installing the new one. So stay tuned.